What is going on guys, Chris Rudnick here, and I'm not gonna lie, we are off to a super late start. I overworked the hell out of myself yesterday just trying to clean the shop and then helping now with his coilovers and stuff. Like, when I say I literally couldn't walk this morning, I went to get up to take a piss, and I, I just kinda got out of my bed just normally, and my ankle hurt so bad, I literally almost fell on my face to, on the way to the bathroom. So, I tried to take it easy a little bit, I iced, I elevated, and now it's, I don't have my watch on because it's dead, but now it's like five o'clock and here we are. But to be honest, I'm still in a lot of pain, but we're just gonna suck it up because we got a package in the mail. Before we talk about that package, we got a free whiteboard. So that is bay 10 right there. That's the one with the, the whiteboard was at, right? So I put my um, phone number and stuff on the gutter and they took it off so I guess we got a free whiteboard I don't know what to do with this sucker. We already got a whiteboard over there uh, It's really big dude. Like I'm gonna look on eBay how much this thing goes for. What is this uh, Tripolo Tripolo Whiteboard I'm stoked stonks right there still in AMC I kind of wish that I sold they got it got all the way up to like 36, but I learned my lesson with Doge. I sold way too early. I made like overall Doge, I made like $1,000. I missed out on like fifteen dollars to $16,000 if I just held and just stayed in instead of selling at like 33 or whatever I did. It was dumb. I learned my lesson. Diamond hands, if you're an AMC, I'm not a financial advisor, but I suggest you hold just a little bit longer and see where this journey takes us. But anyways, go into this. How you doing? We got the rice from Miata. We're not gonna be using the lift or anything today. Before Link kindly sponsored me, we were really chasing our ass. We went through a bunch of different things like changing the fuel system, changing the timing, doing a bunch of stuff, and turns out it was the ECU, and Link hooked us up with the brand new ECU for this car, and now this car is running great. Before I, I knew it was the ECU, I ordered this nice coil pack conversion. So this is a Flow Force. Um, these are LS coils flow force made this cool little bracket that actually bolts up to your valve cover they made you a nice little harness they gave you some wires and they gave you everything to hook up ls coils to your 1816 whichever miata you have bp engine i'm super excited for this not only because to be honest, I'm making so much horsepower in this car now that it's kind of stupid to be running stock coil packs. Like, it's just bound to break eventually and just cause us a problem. So it's definitely good that we're changing that out, but not gonna lie, I'm a little butt hurt. The fact that this is gonna look badass. I'm super excited. I ordered those like three weeks ago and they finally came in today. That's what got me out of bed today. I was like, look, man, I've been waiting for this. I really wanna do it. And um, here we are. So first things first is I'm just gonna take the stock coil packs out completely. Um, I'm just gonna move the harness to the side. We're gonna get the wires out of the way. And I need to detorque the whole valve cover so we can actually install that properly. I got my phone out. We're reading the directions. We're not gonna put coilovers in upside down or anything like that. We're gonna make this install 100%. And I even have to um, de-pin some of the clips. I'll be honest, I've never de-pinned a clip, but we're gonna learn today, boy. I'm pretty excited. So let's get this done. Let's detorque. All right, guys, so we're figuring this wiring thing out together. Um, they have this little diagram on their website and my harness is a little weird. I'm going off the 94 to 97 harness because that's exactly what I have. And we have the yellow and brown, which is gonna be the signal wire. We have the black, which is obviously the ground. And it says here for the positive, um, it's either blue or black and white. So I have both of those. So I didn't really know which one was actually the right one because you're, you only use three wires for this um, install. So I grabbed this little power probe. Obviously we're not sending any 12 volts to anything. I just needed it for test purposes. And I found the black and white wire. I plugged it in. It's dead, it's got nothing, right? And then they also said the blue was positive as well. So I took the blue, and then we got the 12 volts that we need right there. Black, obviously, I wanted to check the ground. So we have the ground there, and then the brown and yellow is gonna be our signal. And then over on the other one, blue is power as well. We got the power there, just to double check. And then ground, we got right there. So that tells me pretty much everything I need to know to install the connectors correctly. Now I just need to figure out how to de-pin it because I've never done that before either. So uh, when I do one, I'll check back and I'll show you how I fucked up. 
I can't believe I'm saying this, but I am dripping sweat from taking two, deep pinning two connectors. Tommy, let me borrow these tools. Literally in the first 30 seconds, I snapped his tool. Thankfully it's snap on, so that's replaceable. But um, yeah, I got both connectors deep pinned I ended up breaking one right there, so I'm gonna have to fix that one. But I'm gonna start with this first, because that seems to be easier than fixing that right now. So we're just gonna do one plug get that all situated and man I was like man wow this is gonna take 30 minutes this is the easiest install ever first time deep pinning wasn't that good at it but hey we're learning today and that's all that matters you know what I mean so let's um, put the plug on all right well it took 45 minutes extra but um she is all done we had we officially have ls coil packs in my 1.8 miata everything is wired in big shout out to tommy the painter for giving me a hand with reconnecting that pin i just messed up completely one of those um pins we had to end up taking like a new one and trying to make it work but long story short she's all good now and it's the car starts and everything i am having this weird issue that the coil pack wire, it's popping out of cylinder one. And maybe that's cause Jack's gotta like mess with the settings or something. Maybe it's like pushing out like too much. But things starts right up. I'm not gonna boost this or really drive it at all until Jack looks at it and stuff. There's a whole direction sheet on the website on how to do that, but I'm sure he already knows how. But like, that keeps popping up. We're done there, right, Samiata? She's got new coil packs. We don't gotta worry about all that. All the wire is hidden to the best of my, not the best of my ability, but best enough, you know what I mean? So that's all good. I guess we're done with this car for tonight. I'm gonna go eat some sushi. All right guys, so I'm back from Nat's restaurant and we're working on two berry right now. So as you guys know, if you watched yesterday's video, you know I'm trying to sell two berry. I actually ended up selling these lower and upper control arms in the front and rear to a patron. He hit me up in the Discord and he was interested on it. And um, since they're so expensive, he's actually doing some payments on it. But I just want to get these off because I do want to list this car. But I don't want to list the car with things that have already been sold. We have the seats sold. We have the whole upper and lower control arm system sold as well. Um, they're both just making payments. So uh, we're just going to put these aside. But I just wanted to make this clip real quick because, dude, the Japanese are kind of wild. So the biggest Allen key I have is an H10 right here. I probably should have bigger. Hey, this is what we're going to do for the snap-on truck. And you can see it is not even close to being big enough. So this has got to be like an H12 or something. What about a T60? Obviously, I wouldn't use this, but yo, a T60 would work, but I'm not trying to ruin that JDM piece of history. So the reason why I wanted to make this clip is because I'm talking on the Discord right now, and one of my fellow Discorders, there was like, I sent a picture of this. I was like, don't worry, I'll get it off. And he was like, dude, it'd be easier to weld the nut onto this bolt to use a socket to get this whole thing out. Dude, look how easy this is. You ready for this? I'm gonna put you in my mouth, hold on. Um, oh, this thing's dirty, COVID. Ah. Oh, <coughs> oh, this is girl. All right, can you see? Oh well. Yo, wow, look at that. Innovation, baby. Innovation, dude. That was actually pretty loose. Oh God, imagine how much grease is on my GoPro pole. I just shove that in my mouth. I did that for you guys. And before we take this off, we'll just... All right, maybe we should use a hammer instead of a fucking $200 ratchet. I don't think it was actually $200, but let's grab a mallet. Ready? Sick. Take... Oh. oh, God damn it. 
some things just want to be difficult. Let's see if we can just hit the vice grip. That'd be sick. Ooh, this one's a lot more in there than the last one, that's for sure. Um, I'm just gonna, you, you guys get the point. I'm just gonna put this down so I can get this out. I can't do this with one hand. That was for you, Dan Hibbart. That was for you, man. Jeez, <laughs> you were close, dude. You trying to total this one too, my friend? <laughs> so what's on the list tonight, dude? Oh, we are tonight. We're doing the lip. So every night you're gonna have a mod? You got enough money for that? Every night, dude? I'm trying to work at the mod shop. Dude, work. this dude just grinded for two hours cleaning up the shop. Ooh, is that carbon fiber? That thing looks fresh. What are we, self-tapperns? Puppy, are you serious? <laughs> Dude, this is gonna look good. Oh, what? Yo, it's on. It's already on. That's what I'm saying. It's just so smooth. Dude, you said it was gonna make it so low. You're like, yo, lip's gonna drag. On the fucking thing. Yo, dude, we totally gotta lower it an inch. <laughs> no, that looks sick, though. What do you actually have to do? There's just a couple bolts on the bottom. I'm self tapper the lip. I'm not oh, I mean, it's fine. I got self tappers, I think. Uh, yeah, I swept like 10 of them today. Oh, you have 10. I went, I mean, I swept oh, oh, you swept 10. Yeah, okay. 10 the, the whiteboard is actually getting <laughs> good use. So Nat, you tried to draw an armpit here, I a guess. True tree. And then you got, you said you gave up and it was a tree. You drew this too? What is this? It's a dunk. No, this is the lifting me out of going to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh wait, now it's the lifting me out. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, you gotta draw, hold on. Now it's the lifting me out of fucking <laughs> burnt. What, what is this? Elmer. Elmer? Who's Elmer? Oh, it's, it's, uh, that's our mascot. Okay. Hey guys, look how easy it is to clean everything out. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> John drew this E36. They stopped by because what did you do? He like tuned your car or something? Oh, uh, he pulled the file from my I'll car. pull the file. What is that? Two Barry the Big Slow? That's Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, okay. And Matt drew that. That's Two Barry. Oh, Matt drew that? He's an artist too. I Dude, take it you drew this one. Yeah, I did. What is that? Like a butt bunny? It's just a rabbit. This is Bubble Buttnik. John drew my ass. Me, me literally spreading my ass cheeks. I don't know what that's about. And then John, John's a fucking artist. Dude, this took him 30 like, seconds. Yeah, six seconds. It's kind of crazy, but Nat has been spending some time cleaning the shop, making this place look pretty nice. I've been busting balls, getting all these freaking control arms off. Every bowl, every nut was stuck, seized, you name it. This is, I've washed my hands seven times tonight. That's what they look like, but we're getting her done. This thing's gonna get stock suspension so we can put it up on the marketplace and um, make some moolah. Everything's for sale, life is for sale. Life is literally for sale. I have, so I'm gonna use this for my flip money, so I'm probably gonna invest in another Mi. I know people are gonna hate me on that. The Evo, I wanna kinda do a trade for a different import. Um, I don't wanna talk about it now. If, if I get one, you guys will know. And then the drift car money will be, um, I don't know what the drift card money would be. I haven't figured that out yet, but I have a good, pretty solid, good, I have a pretty good, solid, good game plan. It's pretty late, but uh, yeah, we're gonna jack up this car. We're gonna self tapper the lip on. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna slave away to this two berry. Not bad, we're getting shit done, I'm happy. Super stoked right now. I started super late throughout the day and I explain that because my ankle and everything and my ankle hurts a lot right now but like sometimes doing more things kind of gets your mind off it but we got all of these arms off this was a very long and tedious task these definitely need some new heim joints and stuff I know Griffin watching this right now he's got a big fat boner right now but we're, <laughs> we're just gonna leave those right there for now I'm not gonna put the other arms in tonight it's actually it's it's pretty freaking late, it's two in the morning, but uh, dude, what, what are you doing over here? After some long analysis of today, okay, I figured out a game plan. Oh, what is this, dude? So we got this drawing board and recently this whole game of stocks and crypto has been in the air and we decided to dip our little fingers into it. You wanna know what's funny about this whole thing? You're, you're talking about this with AMC, you know where you are right now? <laughs> Yo, I'm buying right here. <laughs> and then you know you know where you're gonna be Nat? <laughs> so everyone and their spaceship. So all the way to the moon. Nat's fucking TG out of stonk. 
<laughs> Yo, how much money you got in AMC right now? Zero. <laughs> but <laughs> how much money are you putting in? That's way too late. But say it. Five grand. <laughs> Dude, dude's putting five G's and he's not even gonna get the amount of shares it's that I have right now. You're not a stonker, dude. You can't explain the stonks. It's not going to be too late because tomorrow we are actually going to a stock class. That's what we're going to call it. It's going to be a stock this class. This guy's talking out his ass right now. Long story short, if you're, if you're in the stock game right now, I've learned diamond hands. That's it. Diamond hands, just hold it out. I'm down. I'm down in crypto a decent amount right now, but throughout my whole performance, portfolio um i'm up i'm up like a couple grand but the thing i look at now is all my crypto is down some of them i bought like super super early like ethereum classic i got in like over a over a grand at like 28 dollars. so no matter what i assume i'm never gonna lose that but i know that everything's gonna come back you just have to wait and you have to be patient so not a financial advisor but i just wanted to show you guys the shop one more time this looks fucking awesome the hardest part is actually maintaining this that is the hard part and cleaning does take a while but it, it gets dirty super fast dude if i can ride a bike i throw a bar spin right now we're gonna be dynoing the rice from miata hopefully this weekend if jack's got some time um we just put those coil packs in i'm super super stoked on that and after that thing goes in the dyno we should have zero issues we got the link we got the coil packs we looked over the whole engine like that thing is money now and we do have a private day coming up in about two weeks here and i think me and cam are going to be hanging out this weekend as well which i'm super pumped on we're going to be going fishing and stuff so i'm excited on that apparently cam's like this huge fisher now and he's got like mad poles he's got a boat he's got all these stuff and he lives like 45 minutes away from me so i'm excited for that that's going to come sunday probably monday for you guys but um we're going to keep trying with this vlog daily vlog thing and uh we ended up self-tapping we, we're self-tap boys we're the selfie boys selfie boys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.